Amigos de Vinos Sin Límites, estamos aquí, seguimos en Bareback Mountain con Chef Casey Brito que está endulzando unos churros con jamón azucarado. Si no han probado esto, se lo están perdiendo. Tienen que buscar la receta. En algún momento lo tendremos en el canal. Quiero decirles que hemos tenido los vinos que hemos probado. Casey, with our cheese course, we have this kind of now from Sardinia that, as we can tell, the bottle is it's empty. It's empty, so we hate right. the wine. Right? I mean, no. <laughs> the wine was so good with the cheeses, and we have a big array of cheeses. Can you talk to us about the cheeses, and I'll talk to you about the wine. Boys, uh. A lot of cheddars because this week was also uh, St. Patrick's Day, so there was a lot of cheddars we found. Uh, I know that the theme you do like the wine, like the price point. Uh, for cheese, I always like to do the $5 and under band. You get a whole bunch of different selections of cheeses and then you get to try a bunch. And then you get to know which cheese you don't like because there's so many different cheeses. So it's and I love that. The, you know. Yeah, a lot of cheddars. And then we had the manchego, which goes with the serrano. So that was a little sandwich later on, but I'm still with cheese. And we're using Serrano throughout the entire evening. Yeah. And then after we melon? The melon course with the jamon. Everything has been so delicious. But I wanted to tell you like if you haven't had a wine for Sardinia, from Sardinia, try a cano now. My favorite is Audaria Canonau, but find your favorite. It's high acidity, big in the berries. Like you get blackberry, black currant. It's kind of like a like a big pie in your mouth in, in a good way. Like when you want that punch of flavor. You know? And and it just goes great punching those cheeses just to make that explosion in your palate. Mm -hmm. The grape, you're eating like, get the fresh grapes with it. Like, so it's a nice play all together. Like it's this acidic, fruity. Yeah, and we, we love our acidity. We love the tannins and we love that fruit punch. I want some pie. <laughs> you like that, <laughs> nah? that too. No, but no, we don't need pie because you make the dessert that we, we will get there. Another course that I want to talk about was like when we did the Palacios La Montesa, Álvaro Palacios. Álvaro Palacios is a killer winemaker. And we had this wine, not conventional because we did this with the jamón and melon. Oh, sí. So we have the, the Italian wine with the cheeses. And then we have a more balanced wine that to go with the to go with the, the because when you have the jamón that it's jamón has the saltiness, the umami and all the fat. And then you have the sweetness and a little bit of acidity of the melon. And we have three different kinds of melons. So you need to try this, La Montesa, also big in berries. We can taste it again, but there's more to come, friends, because we have dessert and we have the croquetas con, el, con la cava. Ah, amigos de Vino Sin Límites, aquí estamos de vuelta con las frituras. Qué mejor que unas croquetas. Chef Casey Britton has delighted us. All of us making, like I've been watching him for the last couple of hours cooking for us and my favorite pairing for fried and especially with jamón we have a cava cava honor perellada macabeo and charello grapes and I want to say that we like the acidity of the cava and I did over pour for me because I love bubbles. We're celebrating. We're celebrating, We're celebrating. right? Thank you for having me here in your Thank kitchen. You we love to come up here. Tell us about the croquetas while I pour wine. Uh, so, it's a bechamel sauce, which is a lot of this gravy. This is my best thought. It's funny, it's going to have flour and butter to make it more of a roux. Uh, you let it cook for a while, it's like, I guess, just any color. The longer it cooks, the more deeper it gets. You don't need like the very dark roux, but like a medium.
sago that we I shredded with that little cheese grater. And then slice it. Cheese. Chagel. There's cheese everywhere. Mm -hmm. Yummy. Uh, <laughs> and then we added the hamon, which we just cut up like a good chunk of the piece of leg with carbon up mm -hmm. today. And then put it in the food processor and just pulse it so it would break up into small little pieces. Tiny little it's, cubes? Like ham salad or turkey salad, sometimes people like it with that like really small. Because this is even a little tougher, it's too big of a piece, it gets really hard to eat. So it's even a little smaller. Like cubes. So, and then we let them let that set up in the freezer. But you can set it up the night before in the fridge. Just plan ahead. Yeah. So something I'm always remembering and learning is to plan ahead. And <laughs> what, what I love with your croquetas is that. They're kind of like balls. Some croquetas look like tops, but your are specials. They're like tiny little. Yeah, they're pockets of flavor, and we will taste it. And I can't wait to taste them. I'm just letting them cool a little bit because I don't want to burn my palate. And and if the camera man can show, can can zoom into the. Cuban croqueta. We put some ham and cheese and a pickle on top of that because we're celebrating everything. So we have croqueta balls and we're having a cava. Why sparkling wine? We love sparkling with fried stuff and especially with this fresh fried and with something so good, so nutty and with the complexity of the jamón serrano, we have to have a cava that has the acidity that really cleans your palate but lift it up. So let's taste and thank you for... Let's, let's just cut one in half and taste it. Yeah, let's do that. to think different about this like yes definitely different the ham is delicious and the saltiness of the ham well with the maple maple syrup oh my god mm. and a little agave and agave a little agave because maple I know is a high price point so it's like make that frosting Mira me. a little, little agave it's not as expensive and it does just mm. the right little balance to keep it you get the consistency you want without putting a whole jar of maple in 
so, so this is you can see mm -hmm. the beautiful sprinkles of ham mm -hmm. ham sprinkles mm. who doesn't like ham sprinkles sugary ham sprinkles it's just heaven celebrate i need my glass which glass I want to try this. Her wine glass. Do you want a new mm. glass? It's right there. Okay. And I'm still with the bubbles from the croquetas, but I'm gonna switch to the Rioja. A little to bit go of Rioja, with... Cynthia, please. Yes. And, and you will think that Rioja will be for jamón or for un estofado, un guiso. Pero Marida, la fruta de esa Rioja con Con la grasa del jamón que tienes en, en el churro. Entonces ni una así No importa. Aquí somos todos amigos. Este es para mí. Sí. Gracias. Gracias. What I was telling my sister is that you know people think that red wine, red meat, white wine, fish, the sparkling fried stuff, dessert wines, dessert but, but you have to open your mind. And just think that this dessert that has everything because it has the ham, it has the fat, it has the sugar, the acidity, and the carbs. You make it whole with with a good wine. And from the region, because if you're having jamón, you need to have a wine, a good wine from Spain. And a dessert. Delicious, and thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Casey. Thank you. Mm. Salud. Mm. Salud.